All right, Rafal Hafni here. Hope everyone's having a nice day. How do synchronicities work? Those who follow the term synchronicity entails that different things align properly, such that there's a kind of harmony uh, or, or um, parallel with events or circumstances and even perpendicular phenomena, meaning the moment you do something, something else happens, uh, in, and it seems that it's almost like it happened because you did it, you did this, and it works synchronistically, harmoniously. So that's what it means. Now the question we'll be delving into is why does this happen? I'll be as quick as I can to make it very brief. Synchronicity entails an entire intelligence that embodies the world or our universe of consciousness or what we would describe as the entirety of our mind. Where is our mind? So once you've passed turquoise and passed coral and, and reached teal, you'll already understand, you're supposed to at least in my opinion, um, uh, agree, you'll want to agree with this, that we're kind of one mind and the body is just an offshoot of that one mind. And so the one mind is producing little offshoots uh, called phenomenon, humans, um, situations, right? So this becomes like basics 101 when originally this was like revolutionary information in stage turquoise. Now this is common knowledge. This is a common experience, a common reality, or maybe even a common interpretation. But I lean away from interpretation because I hold that as you advance, these are the inevitable interpretations. The same way orange adopts a cause and effect interpretation to understand reality. So too, we understand this to be the type of cause and effect, the reason why things occur. So synchronicity, how does synchronicity work? Is that the one mind is controlling, controlling events, right? So they used to call this God, but it has many names. It's the entirety of mankind's intelligence. And it embodies kindness and love and generosity. But more importantly is balance. Balance is, a, is on a higher level than kindness. Uh, simply because kindness just means that everything is going to be good for you. But if there is no contrast between the bad, then kindness is kind of meaningful, meaningless. Uh, you know, it's just this absurdity of, ins of insane lack of boundaries. So therefore... Uh, harmony or or um or balance is more appropriate of a term and it's more appropriate of discussion so the intelligence is creating balance i like to think that this is what uh this is what buddhism calls the dharma i'd have to look it up to match up the terms to see maybe it's a t it's it's a sec it's a section of the dharma it's a, cer a certain aspect of the dharma but this there is a certain harmony that's created by this super intelligence it's aware of what's needed what is the proper flow for the entire whole so when you do when you notice something that's synchronistic that intelligence is simply picking up what's going on in that moment and is also picking up what is going on in that moment and because the two events are in its mind, you're picking up on its thoughts. So sometimes the reason why synchronicity happens is because the universal intelligence is looking at one place and it happens to, you know, it happens to go back to, to something else it's focusing on and it looks at another place. So just by looking, it creates a synchronistic phenomenon because there's a thing that a human being can't think of two things at once. And so although this is a projection, it's saying that the God or the, or the uh, entirety is also like a human in the sense that it can only really, it can mainly focus on one thing at a time, even though uh, from a, from a multidimensional or a broad stroke, a broad perspective, it, it, it can, if it's focusing on, on infinity. So you could say the reason why this interpretation, this analysis of this, dissection of the entirety uh, is happening, meaning that, that the, the intelligence is looking at one thing, 
and it can't focus on two things at once. So when it goes back to another thing, it creates this uh, parallel and we understand it as synchronicity. Uh, that could be a projection of my human uh, frailty or my human functions. I'm not arguing with that. Um, but once you reach stage teal, perhaps this idea of projecting human characteristics onto the intelligence comes back. Um, I like to believe that I'm not in stage blue. But, uh, but if I'm not in blue, and I don't think anyone who's met me thinks I'm in stage blue, you would have to conclude that what most likely happens when you reach stage teal is you adopt uh, blue-like blue beliefs that are much more refined and intelligent and holistic. Now, I use the word holistic a lot, and people may say, oh, wait, holism is stage turquoise. But what I've been propo uh, a proponent of is that stage turquoise comes to certain realizations about, about reality, but they don't necessarily understand reality. And as you go through the stages, it becomes more and more clear. The, altern the, al the alternate perspective is that really stage, stage uh, teal is watered down by turquoise and orange combined. So therefore, in 20 years, teal is going to look, uh, the turquoise stages are going to be what people think is teal. So we're going to, um, the turquoise is going to have the knowledge of teal. Uh, and so teal and, our teal now will be the later turquoise, if that makes sense. I'm a little dyslexic, so let's, I don't know if it's the opposite. Our later turquoise, uh, our later, um, Right, it becomes more advanced. The lower stages become more intelligent. It's like the stage red being able to use science because they adopted orange systems and technology. That's pretty much how it is. Um, now, I think we ended, I think that comes to the conclusion of why synchronicities happen, but we have opened the door to the idea that synchronicity happens um, for other reasons that you can think of. So I'm open to that discussion, but my conclusion, it has to do with the one intelligence thinking about one thing, and then it happens to, uh, when he returns or it returns to its other, pre uh, its other focus, it automatically creates a cross-reference, uh, a parallel or um, a connecting line to that other event that it's focusing on. Um, when I was in stage turquoise, I used to try to apply a specific principle and say, oh, this follows this principle and this follows this principle. I stopped doing that, but one of the principles that I created is uh, is EC, everything is as connected. If everything is connected, then you can apply this principle and say, well, the reason why synchronicity happens is because everything's connected. Maybe you're just noticing it. That's not my, my epiphany in stage teal. It could be in stage Aubergine, I'll have even more refined epiphanies. I'll come up with th something even better. Maybe it has to do with extraterrestrials, but that can be blown out of the water with stage clear. So, you know, I'm telling you in an organized fashion what I think is the stage's um, epiphany. Have a good one.